Hey there, C Hacks. It's Miss Adams, and in this video, we're going to do an introduction to data collection. All right, so a statistical problem solving process includes uh, asking questions, collecting data, analyzing the data, and then interpreting the results. Um, a valid statistical question is based on data that vary, so the answers to the questions won't be the same each time an observation is recorded. <coughs> All right. Population in a statistical study is the entire group of individuals we want information about. A sample is a subset of individuals in the population from which we actually collect the data. A census collects data from every individual in the population. All right, these are usually uh, very time consuming and expensive to do, so we don't do too many unless you have a really small population. An observational study observes individuals and measures variables of interest but does not attempt to influence the responses. Okay, so you're just observing. Uh, an experiment deliberately imposes treatments on individuals to measure their responses. All right, asking valid statistical questions. Determine if each of the following is a valid statistical question. Explain your answer. On average, how many days did students at your school play video games last week? All right, this is valid. The number of days each student plays video games can vary. All right, we're going to get different varying results and we're able to collect data on it. Are senior citizens more likely to choose vanilla over chocolate ice cream than teenagers? All right, again, this is valid. It's based on data that varies. Okay, I could ask several senior citizens. I could ask several teenagers and I'm going to get uh, varying results. Uh, C, how many people in the United States were convicted of violent crimes last year? All right, this is not valid. The question can be answered with a single value that doesn't vary. All right, uh, populations and samples. Identify the population and the sample in each of the following settings. A wildlife biologist in Alaska tra tranquilizes 42 grizzly bears in the state, records their weights, and then releases them. So my population would be all grizzly bears in Alaska. My sample is the 42 grizzlies that were weighed. Part B, a fan selects 15 Beyonce songs and counts the number of words in each song. The population would be all songs by Beyonce. The sample are the 15 Beyonce songs that had the words counted. All right, an observational study or an experiment. Determine whether each of the following settings describes an observational study or an experiment. Explain your answer. 60 four-year-olds, four-year-old children were randomly divided into three groups. One group was shown a fast-paced cartoon, one group was shown an educational cartoon, and one group was given art supplies and instructed to draw pictures. Afterwards, the four-year-olds who watched the fast-paced cartoon scored significantly worse than the other two groups on tests that measured the ability to make decisions. All right, this is an experiment. Treatments were imposed. Some children were assigned to watch fast-paced cartoons. Some watched slower-paced cartoons or educational cartoons. And others drew pictures. So it was an experiment because we assigned them to uh, different treatments. All right, part B. 100 teenagers between the ages of 16 and 18 were surveyed. The teens were asked whether... As young children, they watch fast-paced cartoons more often than less often than or e about equally as often as educational cartoons. They were also asked to reveal their GPA. The teens who watched fast-paced cartoons more often than educational cartoons had lower GPAs than teens from the other two groups on average. This is an observational study. There was no treatment imposed. The teens were not told which cartoons to watch or how often to watch them. All right, we just asked them about what had happened. All right, go see Hawks.